Our next competitor comes from Canada, 16-year-old David Bondar. Second junior Grand Prix season, 13th at the Canadian Nationals in junior. Ninth after the short program here. And he needs a 120.56. He has the triple axe. We'll see if he can deliver this in competition. He's really a good technical skater, but a little up and down in competition, trying to tame the nerves as he'll skate to the Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, David Bondar from Canada, you can see head in his hands and from what you'd explained, Ted, obviously a skater that has abundant potential and we can recognize and see beyond the mistakes, but just struggling to deliver even the, the ending position. Just like maybe perhaps a lack of focus, there could be so many reasons and I haven't had the opportunity or chance to speak to him as to why it might be, but potential evident. Oh yeah, I mean, it's such a, actually that was a m more interesting program because he had some problems, but then he fought back with it. Then he had problems a little bit later, but he didn't let it all go, which would have been the situation in the past. So okay. he is slowly, and it's taking time, he's slowly learning how to control all of that in competitions. We look at the triple axle, looks pretty good, and he has to step out of it. 
Here's the triple Lutz. Nice in the air, up into the double toe loop. And then this triple loop, mm. solid, so not a problem. You can see the technique is all good. Just slips off the heel, hits the heel in the ice and comes back down the ice for a triple Lutz, double axle, double axle. So he recovered and got back in form. He didn't let that one fall bother him. And then just a couple silly things there didn't lift up high enough in the air. So there was some, you know, things plaguing him still, but still it's getting better. Not everybody doesn't know that because they haven't seen him skate as often as I have, but this is getting better. He's with great coaches, no issue. Yeah. And they're working their way through it. And one day he will deliver what he's really fully capable of. And is it like, obviously I, I don't know this athlete, but seeing him in the Kiss and Cry, seeing him coming off the ice, you can, the, <sighs> blessing and a curse, there's obviously such a desperate burning passion to show his talent and I know myself that when it's that fervent, that strong and that hungry and eagerness to do well, that can cloud the clarity and then perhaps the thinking is just overthinking or over trying. David is very hard on himself mm -hmm. and there are athletes like him that overthink the problems instead of the glasses half full versus being half empty you know and so for him he's wanting this so bad which we really love and appreciate mm. this young man um and he's trying to find the way to do it and it gets frustrating when he has the ability then he loses it a bit so he's very very hard on himself and it's hard to park it mm. for him and but you know lee is so experienced he yeah. is slowly working with this young athlete to see the positive, to eyes forward, not back, and uh, continue to make some improvement, which I have seen over the past couple of seasons. So it's not there yet, but it's on its way. Slowly, but it's absolutely on its way. What do you feel for the athlete? You just don't yeah. want them to beat themselves up too much. I mean, you, you do want them to be aware, but you don't want them to over, you know, not don't get too high, and absolutely, don't get too low. 102.93, pretty good score. That's fine for David, considering the situation, 163.23. That's fifth overall in the competition at this point. Keep working at it, young man. You've got it, and you're getting better. Look forward.